Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheba and I am a second year medical student from Kabarak University. Well, I usually... So that was my lecturer who just passed by and I was telling you guys that um, what I do on this channel is make medical school life vlogs and show you guys how medical school precisely in Kenya is so subscribe if you haven't anyway this is another week in medical school and currently we're just done with our first class like no second yeah we're just done with our second class and we are out for labs right now and look who hi <laughs> Today being a Monday, we have like two, we had two lectures and they are all done. Then now we have a lab and like my day is over. This week is going to be a little bit hectic because I have three cuts and three cuts in one week. One is tomorrow and two others on Thursday and Friday. Anyway guys, so I really apologize for not uploading a video last week because sometimes we just have to stay focused on other things and like some things just fly by. I was so overwhelmed by studying but I really forgot about this YouTube stuff and I'm really sorry guys because I promised you that I'll be showing up and uploading a video every week and I never stick to that but that's just for that week I try my best So guys, here we're just done with our practical and I was putting my stuff back to my bag and I just want to give you guys a pro tip is that put all your like related files and like things that are related in one place and that is what I did to my full scaps and also my report sheets. So I put my full scaps where I put my report sheets, my results that is from the labs that we are doing and it helps me stay organized and like it's so easier for me when dealing with stuff. Okay, so guys, if you've been following me for um, a very long period of time, like, you must be familiar with this road right now, and it's my way home. Anyway, if also you've been following me for a very long time and watching my videos, you know that I did exams last semester, so Alhamdulillah, we passed, and like, if you're new here, um, I really don't talk about grades because of some reasons I just don't talk about grades but Alhamdulillah we passed Alhamdulillah I passed and yeah it's a nice thing Alhamdulillah so I'm done with today's classes and I'm on my way home Alhamdulillah it's like 1 /20 /24. Alhamdulillah, like I have the rest of the day to study. I have one cut tomorrow, inshallah. And I'm really going to try my best to utilize my time to make it as productive as I, as I can. To like cover other things and also like cover major aspects of the cuts that is going to be tomorrow, inshallah. 
wish me luck probably if you're going to see this if you're seeing this i have already done my cut and and the thing is that i want you guys to like i'm asking to like pray for me so much because this unit is just so scattered like really scattered and yeah i'm going to try my best and pray for me guys i love you guys so much so guys it's around like 7 16 and i'm cooking my supper like right now i'm super hungry anyway guys i just felt like i need to update you guys on what's going on today um i heard when i came back from school i prayed alhamdulillah then like well, then i well, i studied and then had a nap like, had a nap and then like i'm back to my usual stuff if you're watching this and probably you're a student please let me know like what are your options like do you love cooking or like buying food or like just like you know let me know guys if you're a student and you like cook your meals or like i wouldn't say that like whether you buy food or cook your meals let me know guys let me know what kind of food you like i love pasta okay guys so it's around nine 42 and I have an assignment to submit tomorrow like I remember right now that I have an assignment to submit tomorrow and I'm scrolling I'm going through my books like looking for answers fast before going to the internet and the thing is about life expectancy this thing with sociology is just so boring like we're doing sociology and like we have to do those things life expectancy I don't know when we to get those things like guys medicine is not about like you learn the human body all the time sometimes you learn social factors like <laughs> employment you know This is just so amazing. And I love reading. So when I see sad, when I see interesting things, like I get so carried away, like easily carried away and I want to read them, but I have an assignment and I can't read for. So I gotta just focus on what is important and this book, at this time of the day at this time of my needs is not helpful it's really not helpful it's proven like it's so like if you're doing medicine especially clinical medicine and you like please just get yourself a copy of Kumar and Klax because this book has everything from anatomy to like pathology and the treatments pharmacology all that stuff like it's one of the best books like i see this is one of the biggest investments in my life and i'm so happy about it it's just one of the best books i love like this is immunology and they're talking about autoimmune diseases they also give like treatments like this is not an ad by the way this is just a recommendation guys water electrolytes and acid bit balance we are doing this in class right now it's just so nice and it has good illustrations i love good illustrations ecgs i just wait i'm talking so much like i'm never been doing this and another thing i wanted to mention guys on this video is about group discussions and i don't know if you guys whatever cause you're doing like if you're taking medicine or another cause I know of people who take psychology and they watch my videos. Thank you so much. So I don't know if you do group discussions, but what I can say about them is that they're one of the best things you can do in medical school and also in school because you get to like socialize with other people and also learn other things. You know, group discussions are moments where you can speak out to your peers and 
tell them whatever like you think is right and how you understood the concepts you know getting to be to explain a concept to a fellow classmate or somebody else explaining the concept who is not a teacher who is not a lecturer is so much easier like understanding than than just reading passively you know you might misunderstand something i remember there was a scenario this semester that we were reading something we were doing something on clinical chemistry and then like all of us from our group like everyone never understood anything but when we came together we forced ourselves to think and think until we came up with the way that it was supposed to be like it was such an ex amazing experience like i can't live long to it forget that day like group discussions guys are one of the best things you can do and like they are really really helpful but if you are someone who loves studying alone and you don't like like so many people it's not for you but people who love socializing and more old i don't know what to say outrovert <laughs> anyway people who love socializing and talking out with others it's a very nice way of like conceptualizing everything you've learned and making it stick to memory because there is this thing there's this say, quote that people say that the more you teach the more it sticks to your brain like the more you teach out to others the more it sticks to your brain that's why people are so much advised like to like you know when you learn something talk it out talk it out loud like oh my god like talk it out so loud so guys i was saying about like talking things out and teach 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 and teach and teach that is i believe like that is one of the best methods of like putting something to rest into your brain like something at a comfort level that you know i know this stuff is by teaching it out you know you can just do these things by yourself when studying but it's more much more efficient i guess by talking to others and i say again it's not in a must for everyone to be in a group discussion or like have discussion groups with people if you can do this by yourself it's well and good and if you see it's working like go for it man you know like hey it's your life man so i i really want to like tell you guys and add you guys to like when you learn something just speak it out so loud like teach something even if it's a virtual class you know for most of you who really know me so closely like you know that i love maha and one of the maha is a youtuber and also what she does she also teaches like a virtual class when she understands and conceptualizes some of the things she's learning so for her to make sure that she has learned the things she actually has a whiteboard on her desk and some marker pens where she writes and teaches a virtual class that has to ensure that she has to ensure that the class understood and like that is how she has understood understood the concepts wow can't speak anyway guys teach 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 and if you are at a good environment where you can have group discussions please go for it it's one of the best ways for learning because hey studying can be so boring like so boring like really boring so if you do it with someone if you do it with people it becomes just so easier and much more comfortable so um, bye guys and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching i really hope you love my videos guys like i hope you find them helpful interesting and like if you're new here please subscribe if you haven't like what are you waiting for there's a lot of room like there's a lot of room for everyone guys there's a lot of room for everyone please subscribe hit the like button comment down below like comment you know put those comments down below and like any questions suggestions i love hearing from you guys one of the things that make me so happy apart from studying is that i love hearing feedback from you guys whether it's I have positive feedback but I love something that will make a change so please feel free to comment down below it's always your section down below guys so feel free and 
Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.